Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can properly rush B on Dust 2 and after Dust 2 has been added to the map pool and the skybox is completely open you throw some really really insane into smokes that are instantly gonna smoke off B doors and they're gonna smoke off the windows and this is just gonna allow you to a lot lot better B rush where you isolate the side so anybody helping from it is completely isolated and just making rush B a lot lot more viable option and today I'm going to show you how to throw the smokes and I'm going to show you how to probably run out of the tunnels with the correct flashes and the correct molos. So let's just get straight into it. And firstly, I'm going to show you how to throw the two different smokes. And it's actually really easy to do. You just need one guy who's going to come into this corner and he's going to get dropped the smoke. Then he's going to go from this antenna up to this wire right here. And if you're using the nade liner crusher, it's really, really easy to do. Then I usually just run until the minus first. At the bottom are gonna hit the top of the window, like right here, as you can see. It's hitting right here. And then the jump through, and then you're gonna get a really, really consistent and also a really, really fast B doll smoke like this. And the smoke is really, really fast because it bounces like this and lands instantly in front of the door. And with the exact same lineup, you can just run a little bit further and sneaking, you can smoke off the window. So the same lineup, you can just keep your cursor where you want. And then just run forward and when, then when you hit the antenna, hit it right here, you're gonna sneak and jump through. And this is again gonna give you a really really fast and good consistent window smoke. And if you practice it enough, you can do it really really fast like this. So first off, move off the door, go a little bit back, sneak forward and jump through and smoke off window. And again, these smokes are perfect, they aren't gonna go too far out so they can play behind it. And it's making rushing B so easy. Then the guy who threw the smokes right after can run like this. And if you want to just throw a flash to try and support his team, you can run on top of these like trash bags right here. Then just aim around right here, run forward and jump through. And this again is going to give you a flash right here. So anybody playing behind the side trying to hold angle like this are going to get full wide by the flash. Now for the four guys running out, what they're going to do is the first guy who's running out is just going to have a flash out and flash into the wall like this and run out with the flash and peek with it. And his job is just to try and hard clear like this car position right here and after that he can begin clearing side from this angle. The second guy is going to run out like this and he's just going to bounce a flash into this wall right here and then he's going to follow the first guy. So this flash is going to land perfectly right here, landing anybody who's playing towards car from right here. And these two's job are just to hard clear car, clear the position and then they can clear side. And anybody who's playing from side, maybe holding this angle and not be seeing from anybody from right here, is gonna get full wide by the flashes the fifth guy and the fourth guy are throwing. So now for the third guy, he's just gonna throw two flashes instantly into right here. So the flashes are gonna pop in right here, landing anybody who again are playing from side right here, or even anybody fighting these two guys running out. Then after that, his job is just to hard clear side from this side if anybody should be hiding around here or something. Then the fourth guy who dropped the smoke up there, he's just gonna stand right here. And then he's just gonna get off the left of this wall right here. And just gonna spam some flashes up through this roof right here. And the good thing with these flashes is that they're gonna blind anybody who's trying to kill the car players. Like these two guys swinging like this. Just remember, depending on your spawn, don't spam them too much. Because if your players are out here and they're swinging like this, they can be wiped right by the flashes. Then right after that, he can either hold lower, or the guy who threw the smokes can come out and hold lower. And then this guy, if there's any trouble on side or anything, he can run out like this. Aiming right here on these marks, right here. Running forward and throwing his muller. And give a really, really good backside muller that's gonna deny anybody from trying to play time or hiding behind side. And that's all you need to rush B. And with this B rush, you're gonna get a really, really good smoke, a really, really good smoke window. You can get a muller behind side like this. But then you're just gonna get three flashes that's gonna pop up right here, blinding anybody who's trying to fight from this angle. And you're gonna get three flashes that's gonna blind anybody playing here, or trying to play around this way. And I feel like this rush can be almost unstoppable, especially if they are playing three guys towards A, and just playing one guy towards mid, and then one guy on B side, then the mid guy is gonna instantly gonna get smoked off. And then the B side guy is all alone. And with this much utility and four guys just coming out, you just have no chance and you get just get a free B side. But that's all for this video, guy. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. And I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on any new smokes that are gonna make Rushing B better or just any new smokes that are gonna be found here in the coming month in CS2. So hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye.